As of version 4.4, product update 3, you now have the ability to post transactions entered in bank reconciliation directly to General Ledger. Previously, if you wanted to post transactions such as bank charges or interest earned to the General Ledger, you needed to enter and post these transactions in the General Ledger module. Now you can enter these transactions in bank reconciliation and post them to the General Ledger from bank reconciliation. Posting in Bank Reconciliation follows the same process as in other modules. After you enter the transactions, you print the Bank Reconciliation Transaction Register and update the register to update the Bank Reconciliation module. Then, you print and update the Daily Transaction Register to update the General Ledger module. All these steps are done from within Bank Reconciliation. Let's take a look at the changes to Bank Reconciliation. Notice on the Bank Reconciliation main menu, the Bank Reconciliation Transaction Register and the Daily Transaction Register tasks are now available. You can use these tasks to print and update the registers, or you can do so from within the Check, Deposit, and Adjustment Entry task. Let's look at the Entry task. Two columns, the Select for GL Posting and the Distribution Account Number columns, have been added to the grids on both tabs. These columns are only available for new transactions entered in Bank Reconciliation and if you have the appropriate security setup. Let's enter a check. We're going to indicate it's cleared. and select it for GL Posting. The Distribution Account Number field is available only if you have selected the Select for GL Posting checkbox. At this field, enter the Distribution Account Number to use when performing the update to the General Ledger module. This account will be used along with the corresponding debit or credit to the cash account of the bank code selected. The Comment column has also been added. The comment field is available whether or not GL posting is selected, but if the transaction is being posted to GL and you enter comment text, that text is included as part of the posting comment. Let's look at the Deposit Adjustment tab. The same Select for GL posting and Distribution Account fields have been added for this tab as well. We're going to select that this is cleared already and select for posting. The print button on this window still launches to what was formerly named the Bank Reconciliation Register. This has been renamed to Bank Reconciliation Report. Other than the new name, the only change to the report is that if any transactions to be updated to General Ledger are marked as cleared, the clear process cannot be done until the transactions are actually updated to General Ledger. So let's try that. We'll select for Bank Code A. So here is your Bank Reconciliation Report. A button to quickly access the Bank Recap Report is available. If a bank code is selected on the entry screen, that bank code is passed to the report and defaulted to the selection grid on the report dialog, but you can change it when you run the report. And a button is also available to allow quick access to the Bank Reconciliation Transaction Register. Again, if you have selected a bank code on the entry screen, that bank code defaults on the Register Report dialog, but you can change it. You can print and update the Bank Reconciliation Transaction Register for one or all bank codes where transactions requiring posting to GL have been entered. Let's print that register now. Notice at this point you can print and update the Bank Reconciliation Transaction Register for one or all bank codes where transactions requiring posting to GL have been entered. Paperless Office functionality is also available. 
The register prints by bank code showing each transaction being posted with a detailed grouping for check entries and one for deposit and adjustment entries. All of the transaction entries are totaled and the appropriate debit or credit to offset will be posted to the cash account of the bank code. After you update the register, the standard daily transaction register is launched. The daily transaction register can then be printed and updated. After updating the transaction, the posting fields in the entry window are no longer available. The transaction is now posted to General Ledger without the user having to leave bank reconciliation. The rest of the reconciliation can now be completed. And that completes this topic.